Reflections on Resilience What do you call a resilient person? The answer, of course, is female. Women are more resilient than men. For a lot of reasons, such as all the small-scale stressors they go through in life, from, from the being excluded from the privileges that come from being a little boy to all the extra work they have as moms and as the family and from having a family. These small scale stressors throughout their life help them build resilience. Now I was tempted to spend these few minutes uh, lauding the women in my life who've my mom, my sister, my wife, my daughter, and daughter-in-law. I, I could have spent my entire allotted time reflecting on their resilience. That wouldn't have been very manly of me, would it? You see, us men, unlike women, we don't like to talk about things that will build our resilience. We like to, we prefer to talk about things that are beautiful and perfect. And one of our cop-outs is humor, which does build resilience. Humor helps build resilience. And that's a rabbit hole that I can go down. So I've got to ask you, how do you eat an elephant? The answer is one bite at a time. Although I would prefer a smoked elephant. What with my ADHD and all, and all the rabbit holes I go down, I know that more than most, I'll need extra time to eat that elephant. After running across that joke, which perfectly summarizes one of my core beliefs about resilience and is, is resilient friendly, I asked myself, what else? have I internalized concerning resilience? Hmm. One thing I learned from my dad was that just showing up is one of the keys to a successful life. And it's actually part of the definition of being resilient. He also taught me that any job worth doing is worth doing right. And that could have been a recipe for perfectionism, a decidedly non-resistant trait, but Combined with my ADHD, I think I'm going to be okay. When I was 23, I, I worked as a lab tech in Shreveport, Louisiana. The lab manager, Mr. King, had a sign on the wall that said, there's no such thing as stupid questions, only stupid mistakes. Now, after 20 years of working in customer support, I know that there are stupid questions. But Mr. King gave me the lifelong realization that without these dumb questions, there's no moving forward. He was instrumental in giving me the core belief that no question, sincerely asked, is to be ridiculed. That core belief was reinforced 20 years later when I taught high school science. I like to joke then that I had a stark choice as a teacher Develop patience or go to prison. After all, I would go into a room with 30 teenagers, teenagers and close the door six or seven times a day. But the truth was that Mr. King, my father, and the other mentors in my life, especially the ladies, are what gave me the resilience that I needed then and that I need today as I'm adjusting to not getting up and going to work each day. A very important source of resilience that I have today is all of you. I'd like to quote my dad again about not showing up being a source of, res of resilience. That's true for all of you as well. I want to thank all of you for just showing up online and in person as we build this resistance-friendly community called Northwoods. You guys have helped me build my resilience and as this week, my sister and I are putting my mom in a memory care unit, Resist, resilience is something that I'm going to need, and I want to thank all of you for it.